Atlanta has a new police chief. Chief Erica Shields is now the second woman in the city's history to lead the department. Channel 2's Nefertiti Jacques was at the ceremony today. She's with us live outside Atlanta Police Headquarters in downtown Atlanta. Well, Justin, she joined the force in 1995, and in that time, she has served as a patrol officer, a sergeant, lieutenant, major, and deputy chief. But tonight, we were there as Erica Shields was sworn in as the city's top cop. If you will please repeat after me, I, Erica Shields, I, Erica Shields, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear. City officials, police brass, and other dignitaries packed the Commerce Club for the swearing in of new Atlanta police chief Erica Shields. She has the foundation to be one of the best and most qualified police department leaders in the United States of America. Those who have worked alongside the department's 24th chief couldn't agree more. This was an absolute perfect choice for us. Well, on a personal level, you know, I'm all about girl power. So, of course, I'm excited. Many women on the force are excited because of the nearly 2,000 officers who make up the department. Only 330 are female. I think others think about it more than I do. All I've ever known is being a cop. As a cop, she patrolled the streets, worked undercover, and was assigned to internal affairs. Most recently, she served as deputy chief of field operations where she supervised all of the officers patrolling the streets. And now, after a 21-year career with the department, Erica Shields is the city's top cop. I'm making some changes in both operations and personnel and infusing some new ideas in how we approach things. Um, I just, I think this is the time to, to really roll the dice. I am truly humbled to have been given this opportunity to And while the new chief would not go into detail, she did tell us that she has some new ideas on how to approach things like fighting crime in the city. She also tells us that she became a cop in 1995 because she always wanted to help those who were mistreated. She tells me she will continue doing that very same thing. We're live outside of APD headquarters tonight. Now for TD Jack West, Channel 2, Action News, Nightbeat.